Hi guys, I first wanted to say Happy New Year and I can't, well no, I can't believe it's 2015. Uh, I just love the New Year. It's a time to press the restart button and just to, uh, just a fresh take on everything again. I do have some goals for this channel which I'll talk about at the end, but in this video I am going to be doing my top 14 of 2014 uh i technically have more than that but a few of them were honorable mentions so it's okay right you and me will be still friends uh so see what happens when i try to be funny it just doesn't work out okay so i have mentioned this several times i keep i kept a running list and i will continue to do that for this year as well uh, just of things that i bought in 2015 2014 and i put stars next to the things that i really like and i guess in terms i guess i would repurchase is the way i'm thinking about it or i just really liked um uh so let's get started before I just ramble on and I'm gonna you saw me adjusting but I was trying to go I was trying to sit up cross-legged on this chair but since it's a chair that turns around I'm just going I don't want to be like this okay so the first product is the Olay complete all-day moisturizer with sunscreen blood blood broad spectrum SPF 15 sensitive and at first, at first, I thought I wasn't going to like this because of the consistency. It kind of looked like it wasn't going to... I don't know what I thought, but I really do like this. It melts into the skin, and I don't have to wait long for it to absorb into the skin, which is really important for me. I am one, and this is all personal preference, I am one that does not like their moisturizer to lay on top of the skin. I like it to sink in right away. I don't really like oily base products because of that reason i just i don't know for some reason i just don't like that feeling so this does not do that and plus it's for sensitive skin which if you've been with me you know i have very sensitive skin so a plus in my book and i would definitely recommend uh getting that next is the foundation and oh i have tried to apply as much product as i can in this video without overdoing it uh with my favorites of the year Oh, and in regards to that as well, I some of you, uh, some of these products are not did not come out this year. Probably most of these products did not come out this year. It's things that are new to me, which you guys are smart. I guess I didn't need to say that. But the foundation that is my favorite is the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless in Classic Beige, perfect color match. I have that on, and I feel like it. You know, it was one of those products where I got it. I loved it, but it it got put to the side, got got put into the makeup graveyard, and I really do like this foundation. If you have really bad skin, or I guess I shouldn't say that, if you have hyperpigmentation or just a lot to cover, this just does an amazing job, and I'm going to try to put in an image of me applying this, although you can't really see it in the lighting. You know what? Sorry. I didn't mean to get your hopes up. I'm not going to do that. Uh, but this is how it looks. Um, it's swirled with white, but of course when you mix everything together, um, it doesn't look as pretty. But that is the coverage. It's just so creamy, and I absolutely love this product. It's really, really nice. and gives a lot of coverage. I feel like I could get away with two layers of this. No concealer. I have a lot to cover uh, there's actually a lot of hyperpigmentation in this area right there, so I felt like it did a really good job of that. Uh, you know what I will do? Which you have will have been seeing this by then. I'm going to take half of my makeup off so you can see the foundation uh, once I without the foundation. Next is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat, not flat Powder Foundation. Uh, I, got, I have the color Natural. And... So that's how it looks in the pan. And you do, oh, this feels amazing. It's like butter. There is the, oh, I should have put another hand. Oh, well. So I'll, I'll, some of you with really good skin might be able to pull this off wearing it by, by just by itself. I like to apply foundation and also put a powder foundation on top or a powder with color. I was just... I feel like I need the extra coverage. This is also what I have on, and 
my skin definitely does not look flat. I just think that's what everyone says, but it's true. This is a really nice powder and I would definitely repurchase. Yes, I'm going to try to stop saying that. Next is the e.l.f. blush palette. This one is in dark. Now, e.l.f. has dark and light. I would definitely purchase the light even though I haven't really seen uh, swatches of it or uh, seen it on anyone because I love this one so much. This is probably my favorite product of the year. And I just was so pleasantly surprised by this palette. I, it's those, it's, I have said I don't like e.l.f., the ones in the reg the rectangular compact, I don't like those blushes. I just feel like they're really powdery and not very pigmented. I also find that this palette, I think people with richer skin tones would appreciate this one because you could build these up. Now, I have the color, this one right here on my cheeks and as you can see as you can see it's not so crazy but it could be built up and you know what I'm gonna put a little bit more color because I feel like <sighs> you can't see it very well so I'm gonna just you see that you and I would recommend not this type of brush actually I would recommend a blush a brush like the I'll just show you this type of brush that doesn't pick up a lot of product really moves around okay so just love this could be built up I do have swatches uh, so look at how pigmented those are and these three are matte and then this one has some sparkle to it and it does have some sparkle glitter in there but I, I feel like if as long as you blend it out well you're not gonna look like a clown these are just so buttery and I really really love this and next product should be of no surprise to any of you they are the Maybelline color tattoos I picked out four that were probably my favorites of the year and uh, on my eyes I am wearing I first applied rich mahogany which was a limit from a limited edition collection a while ago. If you really like this color, the one that's from the leather collection called Chocolate Suede, exact same color. So you are still able to get it. I actually have both of them, and I was like, wow, they look really similar. Uh, the leather collection, I believe, is supposed to be kind of all matte, but that Chocolate Suede, once you take off the top layer, uh, it's very shimmery. So this is what I applied. Then I applied back to the bronze which is such a gorgeous color and then on the lit the sorry on as eyeliner I applied dramatic black I didn't use creamy beige but that is a really nice color for someone who has oily lids like me it's very hard to find a product that will not break down I have a very difficult time finding products like that and I absolutely love these. They're pigmented. They're just, the only downside is they do dry out because they are a cream product, but I just absolutely love these and am glad that I really gave them a chance. I had bought a bunch of these and I just never really tried them. I liked them enough, but then my eyes started to get really oily and I was, I'm so glad that I found these. Uh, next are an eyeliner from, the, I have several of these. They're all the same. They're the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Liquid Eyeliner Pencil. They're not the jumbo ones. Uh, these are the liquid eyeliner pencils. And I guess if I had to have a YouTuber of the year, it would be Kristen Game. You know when you like when you know you like a YouTuber is when you can't wait for their next video. I just really love her personality, and uh, she just seems really nice and genuine and. I just, I love to watch her. She had mentioned these, she has oily lids as well, and she had mentioned these, that they worked for her. So I tried the black first, and I absolutely love it. But let me show you before I, I want to show you how creamy they go on. So the three colors, so there's six colors in all. Uh, they're so inexpensive. I, my sister got me the charcoal definition again, which is this gray one right here. That one for 79 cents last week. So very inexpensive then there is jade jade jewel now the color ones for some reason ha have sh some shimmer in it the green not as much as the charcoal definition and then there's purple fix uh the black is matte i think i believe the brown is matte uh and 
I haven't used the brown or the blue. Blue is definitely shimmer. Like I said, the color ones seem to all have some color, which I, for me, as a contact lens wearer, I feel like anything with chunks of, and they, none of them have chunks of glitter, but I can't put it too close to my waterline. And this is the, that's not the black. <laughs> this is the black. So look at how, oh, I'm going to try it left-handed. So, wow. And it's, I had that on my waterline. It's, it stays pretty well, not 100%, but pretty darn close. And I would highly recommend this if you haven't tried it. Just am in love with these. And I wish they came out with more colors. Please, Jordana, come out with more colors. Next are some lipsticks. And the first is a high-end. It was a, the birthday gift from uh, last year. And this is the Makeup Forever. I want to get the Rouge Artist Natural in not. And nine, and this is the color. It's a rose tea color. I just love it on the lips. It's very hydrating. The color is my lips were better. Uh, I like this so much that I was considering getting the whole, the full size. But my sister got another one of these, and she gave me the lipstick, so I don't really have to. And plus, I have so many. Um, but this is just a great formula, and the color is really nice. Okay, next lipstick, the one that I'm wearing is CoverGirl's Euphoria. Another product that I got later on in the year, but this color is amazing. Only downside might be is it tastes kind of weird, and that's only initially. I don't know, I seem to have to taste my lipsticks for whatever reason, but this color is just, it's, it's bold, but it's not like, whoa, she's wearing a really bright, bold lip. This is just a really pretty color. Uh, it's on the, more on the pink side just gorgeous and my favorite lipstick is from the L'Oreal Infallible line the one with the very sexy packaging I have the color here in Bold Bardot and this is just beautiful this was when I was on the hunt uh, and the the one in Euphoria this was when I was on the hunt for Maybelline's Divine Wine uh, this is probably the closest one that I found, but these are just amazing and they're really long lasting. I love these. I picked up two more, which I will show you in a haul uh, that's coming up. Next is Essie Stylonomics. This is just a really dark, dark green, kind of with a little bit of blue, just gorgeous. And I just think it, this is a unique color and have really enjoyed wearing that. Next is a product that caused kind of a controversy in the nail polish world. I didn't really pay too much mind to it. But this is the Push and Shove Duo. And you're supposed to apply this base and then apply this. And you get this amazingly foiled look. And I have tried this. This is gorgeous. Uh, the thing that was controversial, I believe, was it says that it was only good for one night. Which... Uh, I found that you could wear it for a few days. I don't know. Uh, but this is just awesome. And it was limited edition. But you can always look on eBay or uh, Amazon. Sometimes you get lucky. Next are some tools. And I really fell in love with this Real Techniques uh, Eye Starter Kit, I believe it's called. And I use several of these for my eye look today. This one got into a small accident in my purse. It's hollow, so you just, you just have to be a little bit careful when you, if you do decide to carry these around with you. This brush I use to lay on all the cream eyeshadows. This one, it's a little too big for me to use as a blending brush, per se, or to lay on product. I like to use this just to clean up this. I just feel like it just does it quickly to clean up uh, any blending problems I might have had. Uh, next is this small brush, really great for precision work right here or to lay down color right in there. Uh, this was probably the only brush from that set that I wasn't particularly fond of, but it does a good job. Uh, this is an eyebrow brush, but I use it to lay down color and to smudge it out. I think it does a really good job for that. That's what I use for the dramatic black. So if you're looking for, I'm sure all of you have tried Real Techniques. If you're looking for somewhere to start, this is a really good brush set. I really enjoyed that. And then next is the e.l.f. crease brush. I'm very confused for about e.l.f.'s website. They had a blending brush as well, but that disappeared. Uh, this one disappeared as well. I'm not sure if they have it back on. But if you were able to get this, this is an amazing brush. This just does 
uh, specific work if you wanted to, or precision work if you wanted to. It lays down color. You could blend out. There's so many things you could do with this brush, and I have enjoyed using that. Next tool is the Sonia Kashuk Brow Groomer. Brow and Eye Groomer. I'm not sure of the exact name, but this, what it looks like, it folds down and then you could open it up. I have really enjoyed using it to make my lashes, sorry for the weird view, make my lashes look really thick. So what I do, it's kind of a process though. What I do is I apply two coats of mascara. I have to wait for that to dry or else you're going to pull out some eyelashes. Uh, it took some getting used to. I, I knew I was going to like it, but you have to work really slowly. You can't just go like this and expect to have really great separated lashes you have to wait for the mascara to dry then pull it through i i you know you one would assume you pull it through this way but i actually lift up my eye and go downwards for me that's just the way that it works best uh i just i don't know that's just the way that i like to use it um but i would highly recommend this metal um, I don't know how I did it with I actually this was in the wash this was in the wash I was washing this and it was drying and I could have used it because it's metal but I was using another brow I'll just show you I think I have it right here yeah I was using this one and it was terrible once you go metal you don't go back this is just a really great tool this side hurts like heck I might have miscalculated the count, so I will just keep it top 14, even though it might not be. Next is the Revlon Color Silk Beautiful Color Hair Dye. I have several of these. You can get them on sale at CVS for two for five bucks, which is an amazing deal for hair dye. Uh, these, this hair dye, it's very easy to dye your hair very dark from the drugstore. It's not so easy to go light. You've seen my videos on hair dyes. A lot of them don't work. Uh, but I wanted to mention this because, so my hair is black and I just feel like this doesn't fry my hair, um, it's not brittle, doesn't leave it brittle or feeling stripped or anything. It's I feel like this is a really uh, hair friendly hair dye from the drugstore and I would really recommend it if you're trying to go back to your roots or just to a dark color. This is not harsh. It's ammonia free. Uh, and then for the honorable mentions, the first is another e.l.f. product. This is the e.l.f. Waterproof Mascara Top Coat. This is a very interesting product. I felt like it made my lashes grow longer. And another thing that this does is it, it makes your lashes not brittle. You know how some of them could get like really flaky and hard? This does, this makes your lashes very soft. So there must be some conditioner in here. I know there's some products in here that are supposed to be very good for your lashes. I call it honorable mention because I probably wouldn't repurchase this again, but I thought it was worth mentioning uh, that it did those couple of things. Um, so there's that. And then we have the these two eye brushes are actually paint brushes but they are amazing and i actually took a photo of these put it on my phone so i could pick up another set these are just really great this is the squirrel let 305 round it's the low low cornell natural hair this is such a small brush i know sigma i believe has one but this just if you're looking for a cut to crease look or just really precise work this is amazing uh, this is the Princeton Select Oval Mop. Now, I love small brushes like this for my eye size. I feel like it just lays, it's the perfect size for it. But this one, I, I have several small brushes like this, eyeshader, eyeshadow brushes like this. But this one, there's just something about it that picks up the color of the eyeshadow. And um, just, it's a really great brush. So I recommend that. And the very last product that I am going to be talking about, it was my fail. Uh, fail of the year. This is the Kiss My Face Ginger Mango Lip Balm. And I was really surprised that it was such a fail because I, one of my favorite lip balms that has been discontinued. And I didn't realize it was discontinued until I told everybody how much I loved it. And then I went to get another one and it was discontinued. And I did ask a company and they sent me, uh, they sent me a reply that was discontinued. Really bummed out. But this just... It tasted terrible and 
just really artificial. I was, like I said, I was surprised because it's all organic and I love the other ones so much. Unless you like artificial ginger mango taste, then I probably, this, don't get it. This was just not good. Okay, so that wraps up my favorites for 2014. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I, uh, I am so glad that I kept a running list that I was able to look back on. I highly recommend that. Uh, I know when I did my 2013 favorites, I just included every single favorite and it went on for a long time. I'm not saying this video was short, but uh, at least it was things that are kind of that were kind of relevant. Uh, so as far as this channel, I want to set some goals for myself, uh, just always to improve and get better, do more editing. Although, you know, I don't have, well, I don't want to complain, uh, but I just... I just use the Windows Movie Maker, which is free, and so it's kind of hard to do kind of editing, like super, like great editing. Uh, and I'm gonna try to keep my videos a little bit shorter. Just give you guys stick to, uh, I guess more content, like speak about the content and don't diverge too much. Uh, maybe do more vlogs and also do more reviews. I hope you guys are all doing well and I wish you a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.